the Crisp Hunters Chase is next. This is a three mile Hunter Chase. Uh, the top one is Tullamore Sloan for Daniel French, Annie Walker for Thomas Rogers, Coin Feather for Ryan Costello, Danzig Caramel for Thomas Rogers, Alex Cherry's got two, whenever Dragoon and Dan City Fami, Herbalistic Rumpus for Ryan Costello, Gugan for Dan Hughes, Strategic Goodbye for B. Fotheringham, Steeple Jack Lad for Graham Clutterbuck, and Lexington Blade for Vinnie Gerrard. So 11 of them this time, then. And away they go. Whenever Dragoon. It's just the first one to show from Gugam in second as they make their way towards the first of 15 fences to take and three circuits of the track. So you can work out from that there are five fences around this circuit. So whenever Dragoon is the leader, by about five lengths already. So Gugan in second, and then Tullamore Sloan back in third. Lexington Blade and Danzig Caramel after that as they get to the first which is a plain one and over that one they go and Tullamore Sloan was pretty untidy but he's still on its feet as whenever Dragoon went along in front clear by five lengths to Gugan second and then Danzig Caramel now clear third and Tullamore Sloan as they get to the second Safely over that. The third fence should, I think, be a ditch with whenever Dragoon in front. It is indeed. And over it they go. They're all safely over that one. And then the final two fences on the circuit. The final fence will be a plain one on this next one. Is probably going to be a plain one as well, I would think, as they make their way towards it. And whenever Dragoon. Is the leader, Gugan second, and there it is, that's a plain fence, and over it they go, and they're all safely over that one as well, with whenever Dragoon the leader. From Gugan second, this is the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit, well not the next circuit, the circuit after. So we now know there are five fences on this circuit, four of them are plain ones, and one of them's a ditch. Whenever Dragoon is the leader from Gugan in second and Dunzig Caramel third, Annie Walker is fourth. Then comes Tullamore Sloan and Lexton Blade and Coin Feather and then Steeple Jack Ladd and Herbalistic Rumpus and Dan City Fami just being driven up the rail there. And the back marker at this point is Strategic Goodbye, who doesn't appear to be planning on making a strategic goodbye at the moment because he's travelling pretty comfortably at the back. And whenever Dragoon Stood off that one and got over it nicely. Mistake by the horse in fourth was Annie Walker. So Annie Walker nearly called in time there. And whenever Dragoon's in front from Gugan second and Danzig Caramel third, then Annie Walker and Lexington Blade and then Coin Fedder, Dan Silly Fami, Tullamore Sloan's lost its place a little bit. Herbalistic Rumpus, Steeple Jack Lad and Strategic Goodbye. The back three and Strategic Goodbye very nearly did take a Strategic Goodbye then because the jockey was right over. The horse's ears on his back in the plate as they take this ditch and over it they go and they all jump that one nicely and so they're going to be racing there back towards the home straight they'll take this cross fence as they go around here and then well, that's virtually the home straight isn't it along with the other one so whenever Dragoon is in the lead Gugan is second and Danzig Caramel is third. And they all get over that one nicely as well, and they're probably going to make a race of it on the final circuit. And they've got one more fence to take first as they do swing into the straight net and straighten up for the fence that'll be the last next time round. And over it they all go, and they're all still on their feet and jumping okay. Although Lexington Blade was skidded on landing, so passing the winning post then with one more circuit of the trap to go and whenever Dragoon is that leads past that winning post Danzig Cameron is second and Gugan is third then Coin Feather and Herbalistic Rumpus together then Dan Silly Fami and Annie Walker and Steeple Jack Ladd and then the back three of Tullamore Sloan Strategic Goodbye and Lexington Blade now the back marker after that mistake so five more fences to take then 
and whenever Dragoon has led all the way so far and gets into that one, jumped in a little bit slowly but got over it okay but his stable mate Dan Silly Family is now coming to take it up off him so the Alex Cherry charges change places in the lead and then it's Dan Silly Family who's kicked on and has suddenly gone two lengths clear of stable mate whenever Dragoon, then comes Gugan, Coin Feathers after that one, then Danzig Caramel, Steeple Jack Lad is going ominously well on the outside as they get over that next one, mistake there by whenever Dragoon could well have seen him out of the race but Dan Silly Family is in front, Gugan, then comes Coin Feather, Tullamore Sloan suddenly get into it as they get over that ditch and look at that jump by Steeple Jack Lad who's just jumped straight into the lead and it's Steeple Jack Lad in front, Steeple Jack Lad's now the new leader as they begin to swing towards home then now and it's Steeple Jack Lad in front from Tullamore Sloan in second, Dan Silly Family under pressure in third, then Coin Feather and Danzig Caramel, Gugan's next strategic goodbye is trying to get into it, they're racing now towards the second last fence and it's Steeple Jack Lad who gets over it and gets away from it well Steeple Jack Lad is three clear of Tullamore Stone and Coin Feather then comes Strategic Goodbye who's running on really well in fourth they're racing now towards the final fence and it's Steeple Jack Lad in the lead Steeple Jack Lad Tullamore Sloan over the final fence they go and it's Steeple Jack Lad Coin Feather is trying to close Steeple Jack Lad is getting tired Coin Feather is getting closer Steeple Jack Lad needs to hold on Steeple Jack Lad one last lunge and race into the line Steeple Jack Lad takes it to Tullamore Sloan second Coin Feather third close for fourth probably just Annie Walker and Graham Clutterbuck takes it again well he be, he builds the course so he knows how to win on it and he takes another one so Steeple Jack Lad the winner for Graham Clutterbuck Tullamore Sloan for Daniel French was second Coin Feather for Ryan Costello third and Thomas Rogers was fourth and fifth with Danzig Caramel and Annie Walker.